Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today we're going to be over going over Gala Mew, and as well as the Mana Spiral for Gala Cerise. Um, I'm going to be a little bit quiet, but don't worry, because the actual character info is going to be handled by my AI assistant, called Vanessa. Say hello, Vanessa. Hello in Vanessa. Good enough. So... Since the important part is actually hearing what the units do, I'm just going to type that into the um, into the Texas speech, and then we'll get going. And the reason I have to do this is to make sure that um, because I'm recording on the weekends, it's very hard for me to record. So, in order to not wake up anyone, this is what we have to do. So let's get into it. Gala Emil. Um, he's the only unit on the banner. Let's go over what he does. So, let's start with this right here is first skill follow me minions this skill can only be used while the user has one or more ego gauge charges consumes one charge of the ego gauge if one or more teammates are located behind the user grants the entire team a team strength M. otherwise grants the user a strength M. skill energy required 4980 Team Amps Strength Amp Amps Amp Team Amp Max LV Equals 2 Level 2, but close enough Uh, interesting, interesting play So let's go here, this is his skill 2 Which goes a little something like this Protect me, peons This skill can only be used while the user has one or more ego gauge charges, consumes one charge of the ego gauge, and grants the user damage diffusion. If one or more teammates are located in front of the user, grants the entire team a team defense amp. Otherwise, grants the user a defense amp. Skill energy required, 4980. Special effects. Diffusion. Charges, 1. Does not stack. Team Amps. Defense Amp. Amps. Amp. Team Amp Max LV. Equals 2. What do you say she's gonna get that one right? And his goal ability and chain goal ability are skill damage plus 15%, and the chain goal ability is team strength vamp equals skill haste 5. So, get 6% if there's a team strength vamp on. And now for his abilities, here they are, which are actually pretty interesting because of how different they are. Water Wyrm's Guidance 2 grants a meal a Dragon Drive gauge and changes the shapeshift button into a Dragon Drive button. Tapping this button activates a meal's Dragon Drive, consumes some of the Dragon Drive gauge, and performs a special attack. A meal's Dragon Drive ends immediately after this attack. Also, grants a meal an ego gauge with three charges. The ego gauge fills when standard attacks, dash attacks, and four strikes. Connect with enemies. In addition, grants a meal four more skill points for equipping shared skills and increases. His skill gauge fill rate by 40%. Immeasurable Majesty 2 Reduces susceptibility to burning and stun by 100%. The great and powerful Emperor Emil II. Increases damage dealt by shared skills. By 150%. Shared skills that deal damage. Will also inflict frostbite. Okay, and that is what he does. Now let's talk about what I think about him. So, Emil is a character. Absolutely hate hate that the game has progressed long enough that Emil gets to have his own gala because I knew the day that this happened Emil would get one of the most busted galas out there because the only way for people who don't like Emil which is I'm going to say the vast majority of people is that Emil has to be crazy busted in some way he has to be crazy busted in some way and they've it really looks like he's been made crazy busted in some way So his original skills seem extremely interesting because he is a support unit and he really wants to have 
like enemies the teammates at his back specifically if he wants to do like the ability to make a strength amp just straight up a team strength amp is crazy especially for the skill energy he uses it with which is 4980 that's insanely good to protect me peons he gets another <laughs> team defense amp and it's the same conditions as the first one so that's crazy support for um nihility based content and then he has this thing right here where his dragon drive is different from a lot of others because his i think just summons a dragon and then it deals whatever damage and then it's gone and then this is maybe the thing that's going to make him the most busted is the shared skill part of him this has so much potential that it feels like it, he might it feels like to me he has the closest chance of just accidentally breaking the game and just because so with this added four skill points to him he basically has access to every single skill in the game i think that's the way it kind of turns down to I, if you know the math on it tell me but i think that basically means he has the entirety of it to the he almost the entirety of all of them it is beck and call the skill gauge fill rate for those are 40 percent faster and then he deals 150 percent more damage they had to make this man so busted to get people to summon because so many people do not like Emil. <laughs> and I think that's funny, and that makes it so that the people who love Emil are going to have a fantastic unit to summon for. My general opinion is, is that I fucking hate Emil and I'm not summoning. So next, moving on. <laughs> it feels like a pretty good idea to summon, because he seems crazy bro broken bonkers and there's nothing i can say that will change that so um yeah he's good and speaking of good let's go over cal cerise and her changes so let me quickly put this in the good old vanessa real quick let me put all of it yeah up to up to there because that's the important stuff all right vanessa tell us the changes brilliant bolt shrivel six Deals damage to enemies directly ahead. Inflicts burn, dispels one buff from each target, and fires extra shots equal to the number of buffs the user has. Damage, 1800, 1 hit. Damage, 105, 7 hits. Skill energy required, 2803. Skill energy required, 8969. Special effects. Buffs. Last 12 seconds. Spells buff. Triggers Vanessa, every 3.9 seconds. Damage. 97. Cheerful assist. Increases the entire team's strength. Gradually recovers their HP. And fills. The skill gauge for Brilliant Bolt by 100%. The second time this skill is used. A variant. With different effects will be used instead. The skill will then alternate between these two versions with every use. This skill will not reset the user's energy level. Skill energy required, 5610. Special effects, plus 20%. Last 15 seconds. Regan, last 15 seconds. Triggers every 2.9 seconds. Potency, 10. After skill change. Skill energy required, 5610. Special effects, plus 20%. Last 15 seconds, plus 20%. Last 15 seconds, Regan. Last 15 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds. Potency, 10. It's regen, by the way. Vanessa, come on, get your shit together. Anyway, recall ability is skill haste 15%, chain claw ability is flame, combo equal energy level up uh, 6. Kind of useless and most nility, but whatever. And these are her abilities. Let's see what buffs they've given to her here, because she definitely needed a lot of them. Sylvan Strength 3 increases Cyrus's strength by 2% and critical rate by 1% for 15 seconds for every 20 hit combo also using cheerful assist will grant Zaris a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 3 and a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of 3 
after these amps are granted this ability will not grant them again for 20 seconds woodland blessing 3 reduces susceptibility to stun and sleep by 100 percent when saras is hit by an attack that would have stunned or put her to sleep her strength is increased by 15 percent for 10 seconds this increase will not stack and after activating this buff cannot be activated again by the same affliction for 15 seconds the crimson star increases duration of buff skills by 30 percent also increases attack rate by 10 percent when the user has a team strength amp and attack skill damage by 20 percent when the user has a team defense amp both of these effects can be applied simultaneously but neither of them will stack oh, that's our changes and oh my god it feels like they've done a lot to her so the main problem that she had is that one she was very old and two she was a <laughs> uh energy unit and those just aren't very good anymore or if they they were at some point i assume it's been so long i can't remember but the point being is that she had a lot of like problems because she's just such an old unit all she really had was some basic stuff but now they've given her a lot more she can dispel buffs she can burn she can uh, increase the entire team strength and then also that buff itself is now made even better 20 percent. she gets increased attack rate she gets so much more now that i feel like they've done right by the character this feels like a right kind of spiral for especially for a gala i feel like some of them can be a little bit hit or miss but i think it's only miss when the unit itself is already good and because cerise needed so much they knew that they had to do as much as possible to make her better and i think they've done a good job making her better i definitely want to use omnicide on her but at the same time i think I'm going to hold off because I'm actually very close to having three treasure chests. So I'll just do that for her. Um, if you do end up, or if you plan on getting her the full mana spiral treatment with Omnicite, tell me how she is because I'm very interested. I think she would be insanely good, but sometimes it can be a little bit hard to tell. But I feel like she's a solid upgrade from what she was previously. And if you're a big serious fan, then you've been waiting for this. And I feel like you'll be able to use her in a lot of stuff. Like, they realize at least that the energy stuff, they didn't go too crazy into it just because they knew that there was just no, no saving the energy level. Like, I don't even remember if this if skill had the ability to not reset the energy level of stuff, but either way, I think they've done a, a very good job of upgrading her, and I'm very excited because it feels like... This was a fantastic mana spiral, and this is a fantastic galley unit. I feel like they've kind of nailed it on this front, which is nice because they haven't done anything in like two weeks, um, which was expected. You know, they told us beforehand that things are going to slow down a little bit, and this is the this is the consequences of that. So, and there will be more banner units, obviously, because Emil's here by himself. But that event that he's coming with looks like there's going to be a lot more uh, units to summon with. But I digress. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for making it this far. If you made it this far, by the way, I should have said it at the beginning, because I think most people who would answer it are going to leave before they can comment. But tell me down below if you would prefer if it was just me in the ASMR mode, or if you would like the combo of me doing... The main thing I, that I don't like about the ASMR mode is that there's important info on what the character does that I think should be conveyed, and I feels weird when it's all like super quiet like this but hey tell me what you feel down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye have a good night bye